Sunil Chiranda. With 30 years of managerial and administrative experience in the government of India, government of Madhya Pradesh and public sector undertakings, NBS Reddy held several senior government positions. Presently handling the mega Hyderabad Metro Rail project, NBS Reddy was invited to attend the 6th Global Infrastructure Leadership Forum in New York City. His Hyderabad Metro Rail project has been selected as one of the top 100 strategic global infrastructure projects to be showcased in the forum. The Hyderabad Metro Rail project with a total value of $2.6 billion is one of the world's largest mass transit projects being built by the public-private partnership. Arvikas Nangya was in conversation with NBS Ready at the TV show studio. Let's take a look. You're here in New York City for the 6th Global Infrastructure Leadership Forum. Uh, and what I understand is that you represented the project, which is Hyderabad Metro Rail Project. Give us some, some insight about the Global uh, Infrastructure Leadership Forum and your presentation, your presence at the forum. Recently, about six years ago, this new initiative has started. The idea is that actually to identify the best infrastructure projects in different parts of the world and bring all the people together, learn from each other. Each one is doing something or other in different parts of the world, let us gather them together. That's the idea. You know, a selection by think tanks, senior technical officers, um, innovators, when they uh, narrow down a project like Hyderabad Metro Rail project as one of the top projects, uh, especially in the engineering category, it's it has uh, uh, definitely has some unique features to offer to the passengers and to a common uh, person. Uh, give us some insight. Tell us about what is so unique about this Hyderabad Metro Rail project. Hyderabad Metro Rail, we are doing it differently. What we are doing is, we are doing it as a public private partnership PPP project, mm -hmm. see, in which only 10% is being contributed by the government, the federal government, government of India. The 90% will come from the private sector. In our case, it's Lassman Tuto, which is a very reputed company of India. Mm -hmm. That's one innovation. The second thing is, most of these projects are seen as engineering structures. You're not building a fragile hill, like you see, for a city. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is, unfortunately, most of the cities have built engineering, these material projects as engineering structures. Then they look back, they try to retrofit what the city needs, and they try to retrofit that. And what I have done is, I've researched all these projects world over, picked up the good points of different systems, and avoided the negative points. That's how we are building Hyderabad Metro Rail slightly different from other things. Main use of Hyderabad Metro Rail project. How do you redesign Indian cities as people-friendly, eco-friendly cities? So I'm bringing a lot of inputs to this particular project. Well, of course, one is structures per se. My structures are beautiful, very good shape as it has given, long-lasting, a lot of solutions are given, advanced technologies brought. Apart from that, these operators, soft components like what do the children require, what do old people require, what do women require, all these things we are bringing into this project and making this project something different. What are some of the innovative ideas that have been taken into consideration and especially that what we've learned from other parts of the world yeah. that you've kept in consideration while putting this project uh, together? Yeah. One is, earlier the projects were built mostly as underground projects. We are making it completely elevated project. What happens is, when compared to the road systems, rail systems are five times more energy efficient, number one. But when compared to an underground rail system, elevated rail system is much more energy efficient because you don't have air pollution, you don't have ventilation, etc. Et so a lot of energy is being saved, number one. Number two, even the energy, whatever energy to energy we spend on it, 45% of that energy we are regenerating, as you see. So the same uh, energy, 45% of it actually we fed back into the grid. That's how we make it further you reduce the carbon footprint. But less energy consumption means less carbon footprint. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is one innovation. Communication based train control system, CBTC. Mm -hmm. This technology for the first time we're introducing in India in Hyderabad Metro. This is more advanced than compared to Delhi. Delhi Metro itself is a very sophisticated system. Even in Kapitma, this is an advanced system. Here, technically it gives me Every one and a half minute I can run a train with this technology. Mm -hmm. It's practically a travelless technology. Very few systems in the world have travelless technology. That's one that I don't that, that apart. In terms of uh, costs involved, how much is the project value? What is the project value of the Hyderabad Metro uh, project? 
this is the project cost per se is 14,100 crore or 2.66 US dollars, billion US dollars, 2.66 billion. Okay. That's a project cost. Mm. There are also other components. With all that, about 3.44 at this stage, and we're also bringing a lot of add on facilities with that, about $4 billion is the total project. And finally, uh, what is it that you'd like to share with our um, uh, fellow uh, Telugu uh, viewers you know, who frequently visit uh, their hometown? Uh, what kind of surprises they can expect when they visit their hometown this, town, uh, this time around? And uh, what is the completion date of this project? This project is going to be completed, the first phase is going to be completed by 2014 December. That's about 9 kilometers will open initially. Mm -hmm. The whole project of 72 kilometers will be completed by 2017 in five years. Once they come to Hyderabad, they will be totally already people are seeing it. So every day a new structure is coming up, new pillar is coming up. So far, we have completed about 500 pillars out of the 2,500 pillars. And now within the city, once we have this metro rail mass transit system, Hyderabad perhaps can boast of one of the best infrastructure uh, uh, best cities in the world. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for the insight. Good luck for the project. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.